Hi, it's Sora here from Wizards Code, and this is devlog number six for my Sewer Zombies game. This started out as just a quick and simple demo game for an asset called Neo FPS, a first person shooter, but it's kind of grown on me and I'm turning it into a real game. Um, this week I've been really focusing on some of the atmospherics that you see, there's a lot more feel to the game here. Uh, I've also focused on the AI. I've ripped out the AI that uh, was previously here and replaced it with a basic node a node canvas AI. Um, still work to do on that, but pretty good. Uh, I'm really happy with where I'm going with this at the moment. So let's take a look at the major changes for this week. First up is that node canvas. So I've implemented a finite state machine here. It's really simple. It's either in idle or it's in seek and destroy. And this is the seek and destroy behavior tree. I'm not going to go into much detail in this video on this. It's actually quite a lot of work. This there's some code involved as well as the behavior trees. So I'm going to do a deep dive into this in some point in the future. The reason that I changed the AI is that the old asset I was using was just too simplistic. The enemy just ran at you, whatever was happening. And that is still what happens here. This is the intro scene. You get rushed by a whole load of zombies and you basically have to react and shoot those zombies. But with this new AI, I'm able to implement some more tactical play. For example, this is a section where I've dropped back a fair bit. I'm a fair distance away from the zombies. They're not detecting me for the most part, and I can pick them off before they decide to mass and attack. So now they've come in, they're starting attacking us. So switch to a different weapon. Note the artwork here hasn't been updated to the new weapons yet. What you get is a much more nuanced uh, attacking sequence. So here we'll have one will jump out at me from behind and it just attack me close by. But they're nice and slow, you get time to react. Of course, with more intelligent enemies, you get damaged more. So I've introduced health packs that involves uh, procedurally generating pickups that will raise your health a tiny bit when you find them. They are scattered throughout the dungeon, so you always have a chance of surviving. There are some bugs, however. Uh, I just got knocked out of the dungeon there, so that needs to be fixed at some point. I also improved the hit detection for the AIs, and the model I'm using now is that there is a point on each weapon which fires out uh, some ray traces at a particular point in the animation to see if it hits the player and damage and force effects are applied at that point. So that required me to change all of the weapons, all of the animations, or at least the events on the animations, and also to change a bit of the code too, but the result is excellent. In addition to that, I did a lot of work on the environment, including using an asset called Real Ivy that allows me to grow Ivy onto prefabs and then save those so that they can be used within the Dungeon Architect theme and generated or rather placed into the procedural dungeon at random points around the dungeon. And the end result is excellent, as you can see here. So bringing all those things together, we have improved AI, we have improved hit detection, a much better environment. We have an actual complete game almost at this point. I say almost, it needs some playtesting. There's a few bugs hitting in there, but great progress. Okay, that's it for this week, short and sweet. If you want me to go deeper into any of the things I've talked about here, I do enjoy doing tutorial videos as well. So drop a comment down below if you want to, uh, to know a little bit more about any of the techniques used here. If you just want to follow progress of this or catch up with any of the future tutorials that I create, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like it. Hit the don't like button if you don't like it, but let me know why. See you in the future.